So I'm looking again at a Spectrum image. This time um, it's from a fib section that was cut from a semiconductor device. And I want to show you how to use two tools to navigate uh, Spectrum images. So the first tool that we want to use is the SI Picker tool. So to get to this tool, just right click on your Spectrum image. And at the top of this floating menu, just select the SI Picker, which is the top left uh, button with the left mouse button. Then just left click and hold down the mouse button. We can then choose an, a region to extract spectral data from. So we can extract from a single pixel, we can extract from multiple pixels. So what we see down the bottom here is an energy loss spectrum that is kind of the sum of all the spectral data from this region that I've just defined here. So, okay, so yeah, so we've got a, an oxygen K-edge, silicon K-edge, so this is a silicon oxide region. If I left click on the edge of the picker, you can then move that picker region around. So you can see as I kind of move to different areas of the sample, we see changes in the eel spectrum. So here we have a tungsten plug. Here we have a region with some, uh, some copper and then back to our kind of original region. So that's the picker tool. So the slice tool is the second tool that we wanna to, want to use. And to get to the slice tool, we first of all need to go to the display kind of section uh, here. So if we click on display, and then near the bottom, you see that there's this palette called slice. So slice has two sliders. Uh, one is kind of defining a slice position and one is defining a slice width. So, okay, so let's just kind of explain what we're doing here. So what we see here in this kind of 2D representation of the spectrum image is the sum of kind of the spectral intensity over a certain range. And that range is what, what we see here. So a, nice, a nicer way of kind of representing that is to actually select the spectrum and so I left click on the spectrum here and then you see this button or this checkbox appear that is called show range. So if I enable show range, now we can see uh, kind of what that slice is in terms of the actual spectrum. So if I use the top slider, you can move that slice around. If I use the bottom slider, you can change the width. We can also do the same thing with the slice on the spectrum itself. So if I uh, click here, I can move that slice around. I can make it narrower. I can make it wider. So, okay, so why is the slice tool useful? So the slice tool is useful because um, it allows you to kind of sweep over the spectrum uh, pretty fast and then look for changes in intensity in this kind of this 2D uh, raster image. So if you look at the image here, as I move the spectrum around, or move the slice around, you can see that there's kind of big changes in intensity and certain kind of positions of energy loss. Okay, so what we wanna do is we kind of wanna look for somewhere where we have a change in intensity. So you can see here, we have this kind of increase and decrease in brightness around here. So we can say, oh, there's probably something interesting happening in the spectrum kind of here. So what we want to do is then move the picker over there and you say, oh, look, there's an ionization edge here. So that's um, our cobalt L edge. And then similarly, like this region over here sort of lights up uh, around this region. So we could say, oh, now let's move the picker over here. And we can see that we have this, this kind of copper copper edge here. So that's really it. So um, using the picker tool and the slice tool together is a really kind of powerful and fast way to survey your spectrum image data sets.